video we will try to understand how to use a test kitchen along with docker driver the first thing which you need is you need to have a workstation with uh, chef dk installed and docker installed so let us verify in the setup which i have so if you see I have Chef DK installed and the machine which I am using is Ubuntu and uh, to be very specific this machine is created in Amazon cloud. And I also have Docker installed. If you want to know the steps in this video there will be a description and in that description you will be pointing out towards a blog item where everything or all the steps that are required for you to follow this whole stuff is already mentioned and then you need to execute or you need to create one cookbook so let me create one cookbook which is called called a chef generate let us give a very simple name to it cookbook let me call it as demo probably the simplest of the names so i've given the names now in this cookbook there will always be a recipe which is already created so i'm getting into that recipe and i'm writing a very simple resource i am trying to tell that i am expecting chef sorry to create a file in temp which is called as test.txt uh, with the content this is managed by chef okay so this is just for the uh, demo so what we are trying to write with respect to resources really doesn't matter okay our objective is how do i test this using docker instances so my action is create and then so very simple recipe now i want to test this so to test this basically we can use test kitchen and test kitchen has a concept called as drivers and this video's intention is used is to use a driver which is for docker so for that i have to install the docker kitchen driver which is a gem chef gem install kitchen hyphen docker so this docker's documentation is present over here and it also defines you the basic structure or the constructs which you can use all the configuration items which you can basically use over here and we will be using some of these items and i would recommend everyone going over here to use kitchen.yaml file with almost all the possibilities with respect to docker are explained over here right away from uh, port forwarding to volumes and everything so in this video let us try with a very simple stuff all right so it says the gem is installed now i want to change my kitchen.yaml file i want to change my kitchen.yaml file so let me go ahead and change kitchen.yaml file so first of all my driver's name is no longer vagrant it is going to be a docker stuff now if i scroll down okay right platforms is okay i'll come down to this platforms at a later point of time but there is one interesting thing which i need to worry about which is transport so how is that you are going to communicate or how the communication is going to establish between kitchen and docker sorry i have a typo and let us look at run list run list looks to be okay because we have written whatever one resource simple resource in uh, 
default dot rb file. And now let me change the stuff. So as mentioned, I am I'm basically picking up all of these configurations from the documentation which I have just shown you. I am just trying to write the driver config. This driver config helps you to pick whatever Docker images which you want. That's the reason why I am trying to write one example with this. So, I am trying to tell that I am going to use an image which is CentOS 7. If you want, you can do the same thing for Ubuntu. For Ubuntu, you can give a specific Ubuntu image which you are interested in. And I will give a platform which is CentOS. So, I think things are good. Let us get started. So, the first thing which I would try to do is kitchen list. So, if kitchen list is trying to tell that, okay, you have two instances where you are trying to test this cookbook, but both of them are not created. So, let me go ahead and execute kitchen create. This create is going to take some time because it has to uh, download the Docker image. It has to set up the communication channel and all of that stuff. So, in this video, this whole time taking process will be forwarded. It appears as if both of the instances have been created by looking at the logs. Now, let me execute kitchen list command again to confirm. Yes, both of them are created. Now, I would want to converge. Whatever cookbook which I have written, I would want to converge. So, I will execute a very simple command which is kitchen converge. So, we know what happens over here. Now, test kitchen will uh, try to get inside your instances and uh, execute the recipes which are mentioned in the run list and that is exactly what is happening if you have written your resource correctly it would work out if there is some mistake this would fail now you can use kitchen verify command also but it's okay let us use kitchen list first that's it we have converged. Once you have done with your work, execute kitchen destroy command to remove all of your instances. That's it. So, I think that's what I had for this video and uh, we'll meet again uh, soon with some more interesting topic which makes sense for me to speak and you to understand. Thanks guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe our channel and click on bell icon.